Okay, so in today's video, I am going to digress from my usual topic about cars. And we'll be talking to you about artificial intelligence. Now, if you're wondering what is a car reviewer doing talking about AI? Well, let me say this. It's now no longer a question of whether your industry, your work, your service can benefit from AI. It's now become a question of how. Now, I don't think AIs will replace humans in entirety, but I do believe that AIs give us an unprecedented opportunity to leverage on machines to take on low value, low level, repetitive tasks and thus free up our minds to take on higher value, higher creativity, higher intelligence stuff. You see, which means that we as humans now need to more than ever raise our game, raise our capabilities, our thinking, our mindset, our intelligence, our creativity to master the machines, to orchestrate them, to deliver the results that we imagine in our minds. So how does AI work for me? Well, in today's video, I am going to share with you a couple of tools that I now use in my video editing. So you see, if you are watching this as a fellow content creator, regardless of what platform you are on, we all know that it's easy to shoot videos. Shoot video, all you have to do is just take the camera, pop, lock, that's it, done. But when it comes to putting the video together, editing, cut, where to cut, where to join, where to put all your effects and whatnot, that is the most time-consuming aspect of the work. So right now, I use a couple of tools that take over the editing phase or rather help me shorten my editing phase substantially. And that is what I am sharing with you in this video. So previously, for the last few years, I have been using DaVinci Resolve for my video editing. Now, I would say that DaVinci Resolve is a great video editing tool as far as my level is concerned in order to produce the video content that I want uh, in terms of user friendliness, stability of the software. It has all worked very, very well for me. I have zero complaints with regards to the software. Maybe it's because I've gotten so used to it, but it has served me very, very well. As I said earlier, because it's manual work, it's just time consuming. That's it. So, so there was one day I just asked myself this. With all this chatter going on about AI, is there a way that I can delegate the video editing to AI? So I went on a Google rabbit hole. I found a few softwares, right? And there are quite a few. You can go and check it out and decide what's best for you. But the one that I've discovered, I've tried a few, and the one that works best for me is Descript AI. So how does Descript work? Basically, it's web-based, and they do have a desktop app, but I usually use the browser version. And what you do is you just upload your clip. It will transcribe the video into a text file. So basically, what you can do is that you can edit your video no differently than how you edit a Word document, and that is a massive time saver. Because you see, the thing is this, when we shoot a video, normally there are multiple takes. We don't get our videos one shot correct one most of the time. So with a tool that turns the whole video into a text file, it also helps me in my shooting phase. Because what happens is that, let's say when I talk, 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 and rest is shit, I talk wrong really, right? I just say cut, and then, I just re mentally rewind and I start talking again from where I left off. And all I have to do is that when I'm editing the, the text file, I just erase the part that I said wrongly and that's it, done. The computer will do the cut and joining for me. I just erase the part which I no longer want. Now, the other thing you probably have noticed is that recently my videos now come with subtitles. Now, I didn't suddenly become more hardworking. It is because Descript has already transcribed my speech 
all I have to do is just click a button and activate the caption and it generates the subtitles just like that. I do have to go in and correct some spellings. This software is particularly, uh, they are, it's particularly weak in spelling wellfire. For, don't know why, whenever I say Toyota wellfire, it spells E-L-L -L space fire, right? Instead of the correct spelling of V-L-L-F-I-R-E. Okay, but the thing is that it allows me to generate the subtitles without me having to type word for word and transcribe and all that. So that is a massive bonus that I did not foresee, but now it is something that I value add into my videos. And the other day, I, I just got a comment from one of my viewers that because he is naturally deaf, it allows him to understand my videos better than he previously has. Because the Google generated, YouTube's automatic generator sometimes can be a bit off. So now the other tool that I use is Opus Pro. Now this was introduced to me by HP. So what this does is that it allows me copy my YouTube videos, my existing long form YouTube videos, paste the link there, and that's it, done. It automatically generates a selection of eight to 10 short vertical videos that I can post on Instagram Reels, post on TikTok, post on YouTube Shorts as well. So as we all know right now as content creators, we need our long form videos for in-depth discussion, but we also need our short vertical videos for quick attention grabbing, to communicate a quick message out. So with Opus Pro, it allows me to rapidly repurpose my existing content and wrap and roll out multiple short form videos that I can blast out on various platforms. But granted, out of eight or 10 short form videos that the AI generates, maybe only four or five are usable. But here's the thing, it is four or five short form videos are generated just like that in less than half an hour. Maybe another half an hour if I want to refine the thing a bit, but it does not take too much time and I can have like five, sometimes 10, I just upload all one shot and I schedule to release bit by bit. So this is a massive, massive time saver. So right now I'm going to adjourn from my office and I'm going to show you raw footage of a recent video that I filmed. And after that, I will demonstrate to you how I use Descript AI to edit that video, show you the finished editing, and you will rejoin me here after that. So in most cars, our seats are usually either upholstered in fabric or leather. And there's a never ending debate as to which of the two is better. Here's the spoiler alert. It's, a real, it's, it's really a matter of preference and taste. So in today's video, I want to discuss with you five key pros and cons of leather seats versus fabric seats focusing mostly on how to properly care for them. Please also let me know in the comment section below, which do you prefer for your own car, leather or fabric? And please let me know in the comment section below, which do you prefer for yourself? Is it fabric or leather? Now to start out with, the market generally perceives leather to be the more premium option. And that is true, even at the raw material level, Leather is actually more expensive to source than fabric. So traditionally, the, in the automotive industry, leather started off as being exclusive to luxury vehicles, the Rolls Royce, the Bentleys. Then they slowly trickled their way down to Mercedes, BMW, Volvo, Volkswagen, Toyota, the rest of it. And the thing is, even today, Right? As you look at the low to mid-level markets, there is that sense whereby the upper variants are whereby the upper variants are finished in leather and the lower ones are fitted with fabric. So that reinforces the perception that leather is the more premium option, whereas fabric is the uh, Harger Marhan option. But here's, the thing. but here's the thing, when it comes to cleaning, it generally costs more to clean fabric seats compared to leather seats because fabric seats trap dirt and microorganisms and they stain easily too. So just imagine this, let's say like you spill a cup of coffee on a leather seat, all you have to do is just wipe and 
That's it. Done. Whereas on fabric, if you spill coffee on it, you will get stubborn stains that will be there almost forever, even if, if all you know how to do is just the regular soap and wipe option. Versus spilling it on versus spilling it on fabric, you will versus spilling it on fabric, you will be left with some pretty nasty stains. So what you were seeing earlier was my recent video talking about the difference between fabric seats and leather seats. So right now, I'm going to show you how I use Descript AI to edit the video in a much, much quicker way. Now, the transcript is generated. You can highlight the text and then the play head here automatically goes to that word. So right now, I can go to here. I can pretty much scroll up and down and select where along the script. So I want to start off by trimming the front because there's a lot of these empty parts. I just want to start off at that moment before my body enters the frame, all right, which is here. All right, so I want to start off here. I just want to show me walking in, okay? And I will delete this and see right now the video starts like this. So in most cars, our seats are usually I and also as part of our usual practice, we want to put the Evo logo in the first three seconds. So I put my play head at three seconds. All right. And right here, what I do is I press the slash key. And what this does is that it splits the videos into two segments right at that point. So I select this segment. I select the Evo logo and I put add new layer. What it does is that it puts the Evo logo on top of my existing footage. So first thing I want to do is I want to reduce the size. And here's the thing, here's the beauty of it, right? I can set it to flip up and down or horizontal. Okay, I can also move it about, but basically I'll just leave it there in the middle. Ah, interestingly enough, it was like fixed at six seconds, but never mind. It's all right. So right now in this segment, I shall activate the subtitles. Check this out. So in most cars, I will see. Okay, so the subtitles are only until here, right? So in most cars, I also want to put my introduction name card. And I want, that would put for another three seconds. So now I'm at the six second mark. And once again, I will type the slash key. And you see the video is split right at the six second mark. Here, I can choose subtitle. I'll type my name to black italic right first thing i'll do is to change the color change the background i can adjust the location so i will also activate the subtitles here and let's start again so in most cars our seats <clears throat> are usually either upholstered in fabric or leather and there's a never-ending debate as to which of the two is better here's the spoiler alert it's a real it's it's really a matter so as you can see here i was repeating myself here's the spoiler alert it's really a matter of preference and taste so what i do is i just erase this that's it let's try this again spoiler alert <clears throat> it's really a matter of preference and taste so in what i like about this part is that it really saves me the time as opposed to using the traditional video editing tools whereby I have to identify exactly where alert ended and where it's begin and cut accordingly. This one, the computer did it for me within seconds. In today's video, I want to discuss with you five key pros and cons of leather seats versus fabric seats, focusing mostly on how to properly care for them. Coming back here, now, for some reason, sometimes the software will randomly capitalize or put punctuations. So what I do is that if you want to edit this without affecting the video, what you have to do is that you press correct and that's it. I'm going to jump back to here for them. Please also let me know in the comment section below, which do you prefer for your own car, leather or fabric? So at this point in time, I realized that, hey, I don't quite like the way I presented this. The easy way to get this done is, of course, I just highlight this whole section, erase. Let's start again. For them. And please, let me know in the comment section below, which do you prefer for yourself? Is it fabric 
or ladder. So what I want to do now is I want to activate all these subtitles. But this part, we want to encourage our users to comment. So when it comes to here, I want to, instead of putting just subtitles, I want it to appear big, big, comment below. So what I do is I will put a slash here to separate this scene out. And I'll put the, the first thing I'll do is I'll activate the captions. And what happens is... And please, let me know in the comment section. And the subtitles disappear the moment we go to end. So at this point, I just want to put subtitle and emphasize comment below. I want to stretch this to one line. Okay. Now, the text-wise, I shall add the border to maximize the contrast between the text and background. And that is not all the magic I want to work out. Because I want the audience to comment whether they prefer fabric or leather. So I want to create a bit of a highlight. What I do is I'll further split the clip here, okay, and check this out, all right? I am going to add this clip from one of my old videos. So for fabric, firstly, I want to show, take out some of my old archive footage of my 525i. When I, when I move the pointer here, I put add new layer. What happens is this. Okay, firstly, the additional clip is only on this part. Okay, watch this. Is it One, fabric? Thing like One thing I need to do, I need to off the audio of this clip. And for yourself, is it fabric or leather? Now, here's one more thing I want to do or leather. What I want is I want the screen to appear half and half, right? So, what I'll do is put comment below. This title, I will bring it layer-wise, bring to front, so that it will still be there. For yourself, is it fabric? Fabric. So when I say all leather, I want to add another one. And this will, here I will add the clip of my good old 525 from after it was completed at DK. Let me just select the point. Ah, okay, this looks like a good point. All right, so I put add new layer so once again i want to bring this forward i need to first deactivate this and out here what i need to click this bring this so let's watch the results for for yourself is it fabric or leather maybe not so good so what i'll do is is it fabric or leather okay this one i just want to push it slightly i want to see more of the leather seats so for yourself is it fabric or leather? Right now, this is done. What I want to do is I want to cut all this at exactly this point. And please let me know in the comment section below, which do you prefer for yourself? Is it fabric or leather? Now to start out with the market, I'm not done yet because what I want to do is I want to further add the text to reinforce, all right? Leather, okay, this will appear. What I'll do is I will set this to maybe black italic and with a border. Then here I will put border italic and put fabric question mark. Yeah, sometimes you do need to click properly and here we go. Is it fabric or leather? Now to start out with the market generally perceives leather to be the more premium option and that is true even at the raw now here i'm going to have a bit more fun i want to put a bureau to reinforce this point perceives leather to be the more premium option so what i'll do is i will separate out these two into a separate section and instead of using my own files i can search the bureau library and I find that, hey, okay, this gives the impression of a luxury car. So, so I select here, I select that clip, and give it a bit of time, we'll load, and layer that on top as zero. Leather to be the more premium option, and that is true. Even So, of course, here, I want to put the captions back in. Generally perceives leather to be the more premium option, and that is true, even at the raw material level leather is actually more expensive 
to source than fabric. So traditionally, the so I also want to add yet another B-roll from my existing library. I want to show this selection. Okay, this board. All right, and I put add new layer. And what happens is that is true. Let me even just show you guys. The I keep forgetting this. I am sorry. It's true. Even at the raw material level, leather is actually more expensive to source. So once again, right here, we'll add captions. That is true. Even at the raw material level, leather is actually more expensive to source than fabric. Ah, okay. There's a little errand. Full stop here. So sometimes the AI has the tendency expensive to put to source than fabric. Situations. So traditionally, the in the automotive industry, leather started off. So here, there's another repeated word which I can remove. Traditionally, in the automotive industry, leather started off as being exclusive to luxury vehicles, the Rolls Royce, the Bentleys. So here, I just want to do a quick correction. Now, when it comes to punctuations, you can just add in any time. But if, let's say, you want to correct the spelling of things, then you have to go to this option of correcting. Now, this part here, where it says Rolls Royce, Bentley, all these brands of cars, I want to flash supporting images to go with what I said. So what I'm doing, going to do is, here, I'm going to split each brand name to its own section of the video. And what I'll do is, because I've already uploaded all the images, right? So Rolls Royce, I put the image of a Rolls Royce cabin, Bentley. When I say Bentley, I put the image of a Bentley cabin, add new layer, Mercedes, put the image of a Mercedes cabin, same with all the other brands. These are all standard press images that I sourced from the internet. So what I'll do is this section, I'll activate captions and automotive industry leather started off as being exclusive to luxury vehicles the rolls royce so right here rolls royce i'll just pull this image to ensure that it fits the whole thing then of course i'll activate the captions similarly with bentley all right and of course activate captions here of course activate captions mercedes once again, with the image of this E39 cabin to fill the entire screen, Volvo and Honda. Wow, look at this, a rare FD manual. Let's roll. Vehicles, the Rolls Royce, the Bentleys, then they slowly trickled their way down to Mercedes, BMW, Volvo, Volkswagen, Toyota, Honda, the rest of Ah, okay. So, interestingly, in this part, the transcription did not actually match the audio. So, firstly, this was where it says Honda, right? Honda. So, what I'll do is, so this is Honda. This is the Honda image. I will drag the Honda image to sit right on top here. Okay. And then the Toyota. And then the Toyota image. So, that they meet. Let's try this again. Volkswagen, Toyota. Honda, the rest of it. And the thing is, even today, right, as you look at the low... So this is another filler word. Okay, I do have this habit of saying filler words like all right, okay, whatever. So with this, I can remove these redundant even filler today, words. Even today, as you look at the low to mid-level markets, there is that sense whereby the upper variants are whereby the upper variants are finished in leather and the lower ones are fitted with fabric. So, Okay, so even today, as you look at the low to mid-level markets, there's the sense that there's that sense whereby the upper variants are finished. So I want to remove this part where I repeated myself and let's see the result. That sense whereby the upper variants are finished in leather and the lower ones are fitted with fabric. So that reinforces the perception that leather is the more premium option, whereas fabric is the uh, Harga Marhan option. So right here, I am moving out to, to reposition 
the camera to take it from a different angle without cutting the video. So we will go straight to the part where I start talking. And I just want to bring the play head to here. But here's the thing. But here's so I want to cut the video here to show me transitioning as I close the door. So I put the play head here, I press the slash button. What I'll do is I delete that whole part and let's see how it looks like. Option. Option. So I stop talking here. Okay, what I'll do is once again, so I'm here and this whole stretch also I want to delete. Let's see. A hand option. But here's the thing, when it before we could proceed, once again I will come back here to reactivate captions. Reinforces the perception that leather is the more premium option, whereas fabric is the uh, Harger Marhan option. But here's the thing, when it comes to cleaning, it generally costs more to clean. So here, there's suddenly another mysterious full stop, which I shall remove. Clean fabric seats compared to leather seats, because fabric seats trap dirt and microorganisms and they stain easily too. So just imagine this. So here I just want to add a bit of B-rolls to reinforce my point, right? So dirt and microorganisms, what I do is I also want to see if I can say something like stain easily too. So here, firstly, I will activate the title. Second thing, dirt and microorganisms. So I will go into the B-roll library and I will type something like Dirt, maybe not. What about, let's say, bacteria? Germ? Ah, okay. This one. Okay, so I'll put this on top. And I want to put another one here. Stains. Hmm, this looks cute. Take your time to replace. Trap dirt and microorganisms and they stain easily too. So just imagine this. Let's say like you spill a cup of coffee on a leather seat. All you have to do is just wipe and that's it. Done. Whereas on fabric, if you spill coffee on it, you will get stubborn stains that will be there almost forever, even if, if all you know how to do is just the regular soap and wipe option. Was just spilling it on. So obviously at this part, I wasn't happy with what I said earlier. So all this, I can take it all out. So here I said, done. Was just spilling it on, was just spilling it on fabric, you will, was just spilling one also take out. Done. Once you're spilling it on fabric, you will be left with some pretty nasty stains. And this ends this segment of the video, so which I trimmed it down to just two minutes of footage. Easily too. So just imagine this. Let's say like you spill a cup of coffee on a leather seat. All you have to do is just wipe. I still have some B-rolls that I can say. Leather seat cleaning. So what I do is, so, so I just put in this supporting B-roll footage and let's say, let's say here I want to add another footage as well to show spilling on fabric, right? So what I do is spill coffee. So this looks almost like coffee being spilled on fabric. So I'm going to put that in. Fabric, you will be left with some pretty nasty stain. Okay, so let's activate all the remaining caption and once you're done all you have to do is go to publish and that's it so here you type out the name of your file that you want to do okay see i'll just put seat demo press update and then later when it's done just click download so after it's done just click download the thing and you can upload it to wherever your platform so let's watch the finished product so in most cars, our seats are usually either upholstered in fabric or leather. And there's a never-ending debate as to which of the two is better. Here's the spoiler alert. It's really a matter of preference and taste. So in today's video, I want to discuss with you five key pros and cons of leather seats versus fabric seats, focusing mostly on how to properly care for them. And please, let me know in the comment section below, which do you prefer for yourself? Is it fabric or leather? Now, to start out with, the market generally perceives 
leather to be the more premium option and that is true even at the raw material level leather is actually more expensive to source than fabric so traditionally in the automotive industry leather started off as being exclusive to luxury vehicles the rolls royce the bentley's then they slowly trickled their way down to mercedes bmw volvo volkswagen toyota the rest of it and the thing is even today as you look at the low to mid-level markets there is that sense whereby the upper variants are finished in leather and the lower ones are fitted with fabric so that reinforces the perception that leather is the more premium option whereas fabric is the uh, Harger Marhan option but here's the thing when it comes to cleaning it generally costs more to clean fabric seats compared to leather seats because fabric seats trap dirt and microorganisms and they stain easily too so just imagine this let's say like you spill a cup of coffee on a leather seat all you have to do is just wipe and that's it done versus spilling it on a fabric you will be left with some pretty nasty stain okay so i hope you found that demonstration insightful now there are plenty of other content creators out there that show you in-depth demonstrations tutorials on how to best utilize this tool i highly recommend that you check it out there are of course plenty of other tools available in the internet in the market do try them all for size to see which one suits your needs best most of all these tools they have free demos that allow you to explore and see which is the one that that you prefer so i use the free version of both descript and opus pro tried it and then after that was when i would say okay it is good if you are interested to explore it or opus pro i've included a couple of links in the description section and also pinned in the comments these are affiliate marketing links so if you sign up for the paid version i do get a small commission as means to support this channel so do check it out if you're a content creator if you are not well i congratulate and thank you for reaching all the way to the end of this video just remember this have this takeaway whatever industry you are in whatever job you are in there will be or there definite an ai tool that you can leverage on to make your work your job your service that much more efficient all right so that's it for me today until my next video take care stay safe i'll see you soon